Hi guys. Well, a little while ago, I did a video where I looked at the ready to install list under my games and apps and how you could hide and unhide games and apps from that list. And what I want to do today is go over that again and recap a couple of things and also talk about some of the changes that have occurred. So first things first, it used to be that you had to go down to the bottom to get to my games and apps. Now you just go across to the top right hand pane and it's there. So it's a lot quicker to get to. So you go into my games and apps and we're in games now. You've got various options, sort by A to Z. You can group by various different ways. You've got medium, large and small tiles and you can change your storage device as well. But we're not really interested in that at the moment. What we're really interested in is the ready to install list. And that again is very similar. Slightly fewer options there. You've got sort by A to Z or group by letter. Group by letter is quite handy. Again, you've got large, medium, small tiles. I like to have the medium tiles. And then you can have all items, just apps, or just games and I've got it currently set on just games. Once you're into that then obviously as I say what we're talking about primarily here is looking at some of the things that have changed as regards the ready to install list. So we're here and if I go and I hide something from the ready to install list let's find Texas Hold'em there you go that's an easy one. Texas Hold'em's there at the moment if I press on the select button, what used to be the start button on the Xbox controller, it brings up this menu. And we've got pin to home, go to our game hub, manage game, install and hide from list. So if you press on hide, to hide from list, hide from the ready to install list. Yeah, so there it's gone. So, okay, it's gone. We can go in and out, and if we go back down, it will still be gone, or it should be, if everything's working right. Yeah, it's still gone. So how do you get it back? Well, it used to be that in order to get it back, you would hold left trigger, right trigger, and then press the X button. Now, some things have obviously changed, and they've moved around some of the options. And now what you need to do is rather than left trigger, right trigger and X, you need to hold down left button and right button and have them held down and then press X or tap X. And that will refresh the list. Now we should find here now that it will have returned it. Yeah, so it's returned. However, as is the case before in my previous video, if we go out and in fact I'm going to go right out just to make sure and prove this to you. If you go out and then you go back in and down to the ready to install list. And Xbox really need to speed up its menus and it's gone again. So <laughs> how do we get it back again? Okay, so we hold the left button, right button and tap X and it will have returned it. But obviously if we go out again, it's going to hide it again. So in order to unhide it, what you want to do is press on select or what used to be start. Sorry, I'm old school. I still call it start. And you go down and where before you had the option to hide it from the list. Now you've got the option to unhide from the list. So press on that. And now if we go out. And quit. And then go back into it. And oh, wrong one. We want to go down to ready to install. And we go down again. And you should find that Texas Hold'em is still there. Keep your fingers crossed. There you go, it's there. So yeah, 
That is how it works now. So instead of left trigger, right trigger and X, you hit left button, right button and X. And that should work for you until the next update when it'll all have changed again. But uh, yeah, hopefully that update will have helped you guys if you haven't already found out how to do that. And uh, yeah, it'll help me because I'll have forgotten by tomorrow and I'll have to check this video. <laughs> All right, anyway, I'm done. I will speak to you guys again soon. Bye.